Hey everyone, and welcome back to another video where yes, it is that time of the year again, where I'm gonna look back and review my trophy collection and my trophy stats. We're gonna do things a little bit differently today because normally I use PSN profiles to do this, but I've actually been really getting into True Trophies, which is another site. I recently did a video, you can probably check that out. Maybe you've already seen it, where I went through some of the trophy hunting websites I like to use. And I was kind of like, I liked dipping into True Trophies, but I was a little, uh, overwhelmed maybe, or found it slightly confusing the navigation of the site because I don't know, I don't feel, feel like it's as user-friendly for me. I, I'm um, at my profession, if you, for those of you that don't know, I'm a digital designer and I work on websites, uh, a bit of UX, UI design as well. So for me, I'm like, ah, oh, this is a cool website, but it's not as intuitive as, as I would like compared to PSN profiles. But if you dig into the details and the nitty gritty of this website, you get some really interesting and different stats, which is why I was like, this could be a good chance to get to know the site, show you guys a few things that you may not have known because it does offer some different stats that PSN Profiles doesn't. So uh, let's take a look. Let's jump over there. Right, so I've got to don the glasses so I can actually see. Glasses donned. All right, so here we are on the main page of True Trophies. I do quite like that they have like articles here that I sometimes like to browse and have a look at, like the Bugsnacks DLC one I showed the other day. Uh, that's that's quite good, but most of the time I'm going up here to where I am. And also do feel free to follow me on this site because I feel like this site is very community-based, which is pretty cool. And there's a lot of nice stuff that you can do and interact with other people that enjoy trophies. So feel free, I'm happy to add people on this. Uh, if you so desire. So we've got this little drop down here where you see a quick view of what's going on, which I quite enjoy. Got some things here, people asking me to be a friend. I think I accepted that. And you get congratulated when you complete something. So it's quite nice. I do quite enjoy coming on here and seeing what's going on, some announcements and stuff. And there's a lot of uh, different leveling systems that are happening on this. So if I just go to my profile, Let's have a look here. So you are greeted with this screen where you can see a quick overview of your stats and then all of your friends and what they're up to, like a nice little news ticker here. And then you've also got some stats going on down the side, which I'm excited to dive into because there's a reason why I wanted to do this video. Actually, there's a, there is a reason why I wanted to do this video that will come at the very end of the video. There was a stat that I loved so much. I was like, I have to do a video on this website because it feels, it feels like it's, like I said, it's so buried in the UI and the, the menus. I feel like maybe a lot of people haven't seen this, what's going on. So I, I want to hopefully, you know, enlighten you, open your mind to what's going on here. So before we do jump into these stats, I just want to go over a quick, uh, a quick few things that how this site operates. So one of the main things that they do is they have their very own point system, true trophy points. You can see over here. So I have 366 1,139 true trophy points. Now, this isn't something that I'm really too interested in. I don't really care about this kind of meta game that they've got going on, which is another reason, reason why I probably use PSM profiles more because this site is very heavily based on this point system, which is fine. I'm wondering if other people enjoy it or not. I, I don't know. But um, I'm going to try and like jump into the spirit of this because it offers a different insight into your trophies, these points. So I've done some research here, everybody. Um, let's go, actually, let's go to the mantra of the site. So I've, I found this about true trophies. It's a website dedicated to PlayStation trophies. You'll be able to find lots of different things. It's a great community, which I would agree with. But, uh, I thought this, this poor quote was very interesting. With PlayStation, your trophies are worth experience points towards your overall level or rank or PlayStation network across all trophy compatible PlayStation devices. As you accumulate trophies and build experience, you gain levels. Each trophy has a value. Bronze has one value, silver, gold, blah, blah, blah. Let's para paraphrase here. However, not all bronze, silver, gold, and platinum trophies are comparable to other others of their kind. Some platinums are much easier to attain than others. This is where we come in. We dedicate, oh, sorry, I've read that wrong. We've decided that a trophy's difficulty can be accurately approximated by using a formula based on how many people have that trophy compared to how many people own the game. We also understand the phrase accurately approximated is a contradiction in terms, but are refusing to remove it on the grounds that it sounds impressive. From there, we multiply the original experience points given to the trophy by our difficulty score and add up with the true trophy score for that trophy. By adding up the true trophy experience points for all the trophies you have won, you get your true trophy score, which you should be terribly proud of. So maybe I should be terribly proud of mine. So here we go. This, I think, therefore, gives us a different insight 
to how what what your trophies are worth, whether they're good or bad, outside of just merely bronze, gold, silver. Because I actually agree with this. There'll be some bronze trophies that you get that maybe a lot harder. Uh, you know, different games weight their games differently. So that's why I feel like I'm going to get some different stats here today. Now, what have we got over here? There was something else. So bouncing off that, I also wanted to found this article, which is explaining your true trophy score which I felt like they did a good job in that. But for those of you who don't know, these are the Sony trophy levels and scores. So 15 points for a bronze, 30 for a silver, 90 for a gold, and 180 for a platinum. I'm not sure if these have changed though, based on the new update. When was this article written? This was 2018. But it's not, I don't think it's too far off this. It's, it's still similar, but a lot of people out there maybe do not even know this is the case. Yeah, this is definitely old because they're using the old PSN level. But the point remains. Anyway, let's have a look here. You can see, oh my God, we're getting into some mathematics. Uh, at True Trophies, we believe that harder that the harder the trophy is to earn, the more points and kudos you should be handed when you beat it. To that end, we've come up with a rather elegant formula. Adjust these trophy scores by their rarity. So score True Trophies equals score experience times gamers with game plus, uh, divided by gamers with trophy. The scarcity of any given trophy is determined by comparing the number of people who have gained the award to the number of people that have played the game in question. The smaller percentage of people that have the trophy, the bigger the trophy multiplier for that trophy. This multiplier is known as true trophy ratio. So they've got like an example here that uh, shows you how that's done. But this bit here, this, this bit that they've highlighted, which I think is interesting. Because the true trophy score is based on the number of people that have currently won a trophy compared to the number of people that have played the game, we count unlocking one trophy in a game as still playing it. The true trophy score for a trophy can increase or decrease over time as more people are tracked as having the game or more people who have the game unlock the trophy. It's as simple as that. So I love uh, having, you know, giving my data to people and having it shown back to me in weird and wonderful ways, especially when Google tells me where I've been all month, which is terrifying, but they present it so nicely. How can I not be interested in all the cities I visited? Uh, so yeah, I think this might be an interesting way of looking at how some of the trophies I've earned and some of their stats and stuff and applying, you know, getting into the spirit of this true trophies mentality. Cause this, this all sounds very legit and interesting. Like, you know, I did my ultra rare trophies, which is literally only done by, you know, percentages and whatnot. And this seems like it, like it might be a little bit more approximately accurate or what, whatever they said in their thing. So let's go back to my main page. So maybe I, should, what, oh, oh, and this is the other thing I discovered. Okay. These things here for a long time, I was like, I'm not looking at it. I don't know what this all means, but they actually do have meanings. You can go here and then you could cross reference your badge information. Gosh, I love stats. What a nerd am I? So I'm on the red here. So red means between two. Okay, so that must be pretty. My ratio. What's my ratio? Oh, that's not that good. That's a bit blue. That's a, that's a bit blue. Between one. No, it's been 1.6, 1.7. Okay. I'm not sure. Maybe that. Oh, no, that's second to. That's, yeah. That's only a third, but it's like a bronze. And then. The trophy tr site completion. Okay, I think this is just all color coded with all this stuff. But it's it's an interesting it's an interesting look, and I do like how they've broken this this down. There's a lot there's a lot to be found here, a lot to be explored and discovered, as we are about to uncover. So at the time of recording this video, what is this? This must be something to do with PlayStation, as they've got the PlayStation logo. It would be cool if they like these ones have when you hover over, but these ones do not. I'm guessing that might be points for PlayStation or something. This is not my PlayStation. Okay, so they have their own leveling system as well. So this isn't tied to the PlayStation leveling one, but it's not overtly sort of explained here. But we'll see this in a sec. I think in PlayStation terms, I'm 400 and something. Oh, here we go. There we go. Woo, made it happen. True level is 545, but my PSN level is 449. Oh, then maybe I can find out what this means. Will it hover over? I don't know if um, the screen capture cap captures when you hover over something. Let's just leave it. Will it do the thing? No, there are no stats related to this. Okay, and then overall I have 7,624 trophies earned. Uh, currently 131 platinums, 500. Well, we don't need to go through all this. You'll hear this at the end of the end of the year anyway. And my, what's this? Is that how many games I've played? 
200, I don't know why I needed to highlight that, 215 games played. Wow, I've played a lot of them video games. What's this? I'm also going to be discovering stuff. Oh, I can set a different status. Well, my status is I always want to be hanging out with Nathan Drake with that face. So why, why would I ever want to change that? Okay, so if we look over here, what is this? So true trophy, site rank, 6,407 out of, I don't know what that means. But here we have a different percentage ranking. Now, those of you that watched a previous video of mine, one of my goals for the year was to get my percentage over 70%. But on this, my percentage is higher because does it, I think it doesn't include, wait, true traffic completion percentage, 82.08% includes owned DLC, 86 more trophies required to reach. Wow. Oh my God. I need 80 more, six more. Oh, this is great stats for me because I'm really, I really want to get to 85 slash 75. What happens if I click on this? Open a new tab. Okay. It's just going to take me to game of complete. Owned DLC trophy packs. I don't understand why this is different. Is it because it's not counting DLC? I think, but it says it is counting. Oh, oh, I've just, I've just understood. Right. This is how this differs. I've just understood. So on PSN profiles, I believe what is happening is it's calculating your percentage on all the games you own, plus all the DLC packs here. They are only counting the games that you have bought the DLC for. So therefore you are getting a more accurate number based on the games you've actually played and the DLC you've actually earned. That is a very cool stat. I'm very into that. So actually I can be proud to say that my completion is about 10% higher than on PSN profiles. That's pretty dope. Um, then I've got my ratio. Then I've got my completed games, which owns, uh, includes DLC. Now, again, this differs from PSN profiles where I haven't actually completed 100 games in their in their stats. Let's have a look at this. My completed games. Okay. So this is just a list of all the games that I have completed. How does this, but why, why have I only, why have I got 120? Oh, again, this is the same thing as we just looked at. Interesting. Okay. So it's counting all the games that I hundred percent completed with the DLC ones. So if I don't have DLC for a game, so that must mean that, wow, we have to do some, we have to do some cross-referencing here. It's time to get the old, what's it, majig out? The pin board. Do, 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 do. Cue that meme where you're like, wow, all the stuff. So here I've got 97 games, 71% completion, which means that quick maths, oh my God, I can do quick maths because the number is easy. The number is only, there are 30 games that I own that I don't own DLC for that I have completed. I think that's how that maths checks out. Whoa, maths, what a, what a trip. Please correct me if I'm wrong. That would be fantastic. Okay, so let's get out of there. Then these things, oh, I've been here for six years and these are all other little sort of stats. So th there's my overview of what's, what's happening on my, on my card. But I want to scroll down here and have a look at some of these little things that you can do here. Now, what I really like about this website as well, there's a lot of places that you can input your own information for your own tracking of your trophies, etc. which I've really started to get into as well. Like, as you know, I'm a big physical media book person. I like to write this stuff in my trophy log book. Well, this website, you can just write it all online and it like automatically calculates stuff, which I really enjoy. Uh, RIP trophy notebook. No, no, no. The trophy log book will always exist, but it is, it's never going to be as good is something that's going to do the maths and all the information for you. So let's start with my games list. This is something that I did quite recently. So I'm going to open it up here. And uh, I've created a list for myself called Backlog Completion List 2022, which is a goal that I want to do as I pulled out in a previous video, a couple of games that I'd like to earn more trophies in and complete. So out of the list, I still have remaining these seven games. And you can change, you know, the name of it, the order, give yourself a little thing. Nothing... I don't, this is quite a recent thing, but it's telling me how many trophies there are to be won, how many points. And I guess I need to find out what that is. That's going to annoy me, that stat. I'll never know. So that's a nice way to keep track of the games that I'd like to play. I, I consider this as maybe a playlist of, of sorts. I suppose if you wanted to, I don't know, make your, like say, uh, do you know what I could do? I could make a list of games that I think people should play or something like that. Like, I don't know, I, the, the endless possibilities are very interesting on this site and uh, you could be lost for hours. So that's my game list. Now my platform summary, which I find quite interesting. Let's, let's dive into this. Oh, this is a, an interface that's, see there's so many stats, it's almost overwhelming. 
So now we're getting everything. So you can see here, wow, it shows you how much time is played. That's interesting. I wonder if that, they managed to pull that from the PlayStation. 20 hours and 51 minutes playing Bug Snacks. And what a time that was. When I started it, when I completed it, and when I, okay, that must be like when I, yeah, when I completed the entire of the base game, but then I did play this recently to get the DLC. I own it. This playing now is interesting. Like, why am I not playing Bug Snacks now? I was playing it yesterday, but it knows I'm playing Returnal now. What else could it be? If I don't own it, what's the other option? Ownership. I guess maybe some of the... But... Owned, owned. But if you don't own it, what are you doing? How how, how are you doing the thing? Okay, so there's all this information that you can really dive into. And then, ooh, you can also race it. Let's rate Bug Snacks for five. Because I liked it. So I could spend ages doing this. So I find that rather... What's this eye about? Oh, so I've won additional trophies. So that's because of the Lost Legacy trophy list. But actually, I wanted to go back to the main page because I like this breakdown. So on PS5, so I've owned my... Oh, there we go. Got a few things here. 97%. Yeah, I want to get that 100% back. So on PlayStation 5, I have... I'm guessing that must mean complete... Yeah, completed games. I've completed seven games out of 15 games that I've played. And then I have 15 games in my PlayStation 5 collection. Interesting. But here's where we get some juicy facts because I'm curious to see how this will shake out. PS4 versus PS3 era. So with the PS4, I completed 64 games, but I played 107 games and my collection was 107. Really? I thought my PS3 collection would be much bigger. Like I feel like I played a lot more games in the PS3, but saying that, I'm guessing how many of these PS4 games were me replaying like Uncharted or, you know, remasters of games. So we've got to, we've got to be mindful of that. So the PS3 era, 40 games completed, 72 games played, 72 games in my collection. Wow, really? That's crazy. And then my PS Vita, oh, bless you, PS Vita. 16 games completed, 21 games played and 21 games in my collection. And then I like how they break out DLC. So I've got 66 DLCs that I have completed. I own 97 DLCs and my collection is 97. Now is that 97 DLCs that I paid for? I'm gonna I'm gonna say so, seeing as this website does a good job at breaking out the DLC that you own versus the DLC that you don't own. So that's how it that's how the cookie crumbles. That is how I have my 127 completed games on my 215 games that I played. God, can you imagine if these stats existed for your PS1, your PS2? Oh man. Internet wasn't around then. That's, that's so sad. Okay, so the next stat here we have our trophy streaks. Ah, let's have a look at this. We can dive deeper into this. It's something that is very addictive, I find, sometimes when you know it's happening. Oh, gosh, this is also very overwhelming. <sighs> let's go back to my top my top five, I think, because you this gets... So let me have a look here. Wow, it tracks, it tracks so many. So if we... Actually, we can get, stick on this. So I'm not, like, I play video games quite regularly, but I'm not, like, hardcore on it every day. So I find this quite difficult to keep up a streak because some days I just, I'm not feeling it, and some days you just don't earn a trophy. You know, if you're playing Elden Ring, you've probably not earned a trophy for ages in that game. So one, two, three, four, five. So 214 total streaks there with about roughly the same amount of games in 2018 and 2012 2012 again with a 15 now here's a recent one and i did this one on purpose because i wanted to try and get on the leaderboard in 2022 i got uh 56 trophies for 17 days in a row and that was so difficult i like had to start i started start thinking about it i was like oh my god how am i going to get this streak i would plan out trophies in advance for the days that i knew i wouldn't have a lot of time it, it was a lot but at number one on November the 20th, uh, no, 1st of November, 2014, I managed to keep a streak for 26 days with 81 trophies. One day, I want to beat this. Now, this was natural. I, t I totally, totally didn't try on this one. The only one I tried on was this 17-1 2022 because I just wanted to get on my own leaderboard. But here, that was just natural play. And that was, as I said before, the dark times where I literally did nothing but play video games all day day because I had nothing else to do. Uh, so that's that's what that's what happens that and one day I will beat that. It will have to be a very considerate effort to do so. But I want to I want to be maybe I should do it in 2024. That's only next year. Could be possible. No, it's not. Next year's 2023. We'll see when it happens. I'd like to do it naturally, but I just don't think with my cadence of playing games these days it'll ever happen naturally unless I just bought like a billion games or something. 
My current streak is two days, starting the 29th of April. So I didn't earn a trophy yesterday, so that's probably that's probably dead in the water. Not not progressing on that one. Ah, now this one, the interesting gamer, my gamer goals. I, I enjoy doing this as well. Oh, I can't click on this. Okay, well, to get to this, let's just click on this. Oh, here we go. We're here now. So there's this goal section here, which I quite enjoy as well, that you can create your own goals and you can actually see your progress happening. So I did this little one as a test here, complete Dark Souls by the 31st of December, 2022. I think I can only do five at a time because I haven't got the premium account, but that's all I, all I need for now. I'm still like, you know, getting into this. And so far... I have made zero progress in all this time, but I've still got 27.38% uh, until we get to December 31st. Will I do it? I hope so. I hope so. Four trophies to go. <laughs> but this one I love because again, I'm trying to get to that 85%, that 75% by the end of the year. So an extra two, ooh, what a stat. I love this so much. An extra 2.9% over 30, 333 days. 272 trophies left within, oh my God, 243 days to go. An average of 1.1 trophies per day. So I've written this comic to myself, which is AKA get to 75% completion on PSN profiles. I did that. Oh, this goal includes owned DLC. So right now I've made 17.3% progress. The time has taken long. I need to get down on it to complete this. I think I could do it. So I do I mean, that was quite good to get an extra 2.9%, but I do need to learn at least one trophy every day. But I, I, I've got I've got my plan. I can do this. I can make this happen. Right. So you can also get to that from up here. There's, there's so much stuff in these my links. So you've got even things like to-do lists, wish lists, trophy case, completion times. There's, there's It's so in-depth and I kind of do want to spend some time doing it all. I'm not sure if today's the day, but we'll have a look later. Then, of course, you've got your friends list here where you can see how you rank against everybody else. I'm pitifully at 24. Actually, it could be worse. So, you know, if that's an interest of you, I'm not too interested in leaderboards. I like to, you know, I do my own meta game against myself. But it's cool to, like, you know, see what your friends are up to. And if that's the kind of thing you're into, then uh, that's cool. And also, I just like having friends so you can, like, see what everyone's up to here. You can give people a little congratulations. What's uh, what's Foxy Cat up to? We'll give Foxy Cat a little something, something. Can we? I don't know if I can. Oh, now we just clicked on her profile. <laughs> um, right. This is the stats that I really wanted to dive into today, which is my best games and my best trophies. Now, this is the reason why I went into the true trophies point system, because this these two lists are aggregated based on those points. So let's go to view more games. I just wish that my eyes weren't so awful. Right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So they're saying that, so what is this? My best game. So these are the games that I've earned the most points out of. So based on their point system, these are games that a lot of people own, but maybe not, not a lot of people have earned the trophies for, and therefore you're getting more points based on it. So at number 10, it's The Last of Us PS3 with 42 or 48 trophies. because I am missing some of those DLC trophies, but yeah, so I'm missing 18 of those. Those DLC trophies are really hard and I don't think I'll ever get to it. One day I did just like think to myself, I'll go back and I'll play Last of Us on PS3 and get the grounded mode trophies. I don't think I can go back. The game is going to feel so janky on PS3. I'm so used to that buttery sweet 60 FPS. They also changed the controls up on me. But I think I could do it. But do I want to do it now? I was like, oh, I'll be fine. Did it once before. I can do it some more. I'm not sure. But there's some trophy to, to be won there. 88% completed, 2.377 ratio. Oh, I've, wow, I gave Max Payne a rating. But where did my, um? hang on, I might have to go back a sec. Let's duplicate this. Go back here. 3,851 points. Okay, we're doing some cross-referencing. That's, this is, see, this is what I'm saying. This is how, if you're watching anyone that works on the site, I'm, I'm really digging these, uh, these stats it's just a little confusing for a user <laughs> going from like i wanted to see this information but this information doesn't seem to be on this page unless i've got to do the filters actually maybe i've got to do that other filter it's it's so it's so in depth wait release your visibility availability wow how, how do they know if it's a physical okay, i guess some actually I, I know how they know it's because some games have that. So I can't, I can't filter by 
true trophy points. Okay. Oh, no, no, no. Sorry. I take it back. I take it back. I've just discovered it's here. So I have 3,851 points out of 4,553. Wow. Could really clean up house there. So next on my list is Red Dead Redemption 2 with 70 out of 71 trophies. What is the one trophy I am missing? It's a DLC trophy. I'm sure of it. Oh, no. I'm missing 21 additional. Then why is it 70 out of 71? That makes no sense. Oh, oh, no, it does make sense because it's only counting the DLC trophies that I own, I think. Lord, let's have a, let's have a click in there. It's going to be a long video, everybody, but hopefully you're enjoying it. So maybe you're earning some trophies too. Right. Red Dead Redemption trophies. Full list is 91 trophies, 71 bronze. Ah, I must be missing one trophy from a DLC. That, what is this? The quick and everyone else be the top. But I, I have the ass. Game based. Oh, okay. Yeah. So what? Not one. Call it, call it a comeback. Defeat and hold your own. Who needs dead eye? Okay, yeah, I'm not getting those. Those are like online ones that are too difficult. No. Oh, wow. Even here they have it broken down into like, it'll take you six to eight hours to get these two. Whoa, that is cool. There is, there is so much. There is so much depth here. 99%. That's like, that's going to haunt me. Whoa. And the game itself is 90 to 180 hours. How many hours did I spend playing Red Dead Redemption? Surely there, there must be stats on this somewhere. Can I, can I see my own stats? Where well, bear with me. I must find out. I must find out. Red Dead Redemption. Oh, it doesn't have my time played. It probably has it in game. But there we go. I found it. I found where it is I'm looking for. I gave it a five star apparently. Um, okay. Well, that was a little trip down, you know, some kind of weird memory lane tangent. Let's go back to the list. Got so many tabs open. I'm drowning in tabs over here, but I love it. At number eight, Uncharted 3, Drake's Fortune. I can see why this... So these are all very popular games, clearly, as you can see. It's just um, a lot of people probably have them, which makes them, you know, bumps up the ranking of points because if you're completing the game, you're getting these trophies that a lot of people are not going to get. So, and I remember Uncharted 3. This must be the PS3 version, I would imagine, because that had a boatload of DLC trophies. Yeah. And I got pretty much as many of them as I could. Yeah. So I'm missing a bunch of these DLC ones. And I believe at the time when Uncharted 3 came out, it was one of the games that had the most trophies altogether, including all the DLC and stuff. So that was a pretty big, big milestone, but I'm sad I couldn't clean up all of those, but that then gives me 4,039 points. Uh, 93% complete. And I also gave that a five star. When did I do some of these rankings? I don't remember. So next on the list is, of course, Grand Theft Auto 4, another game which probably has a lot of install. This is an interesting stat we're coming here with Grand Theft Auto and then Red Dead. Oh, I think I know why. That must be because I'm missing way more trophies on GTA 4. Five, sorry, five. Can I even read? I don't know if I can even read numbers. <laughs> um, yeah, so... If we look, oh, okay, that's why. So I'm missing additional DLC trophies that I actually do own. Whereas in Red Dead Redemption, I have a clean bar, baby. That makes me happy. That makes me so happy. Uh, so that's that's pretty cool. There's a lot of DLC there, which I'll probably never get. I'm kind of I'm kind of done with GTA 5 for now. So then we get to the one, two, three, four. No, it's number six, Red Dead Redemption 2, where I have all of my points, 400, no, 4,134 points is the maximum that you can get for red dead redemption 2 and i'm, I'm pretty uh, there's not much more i can say about that i'm just happy that i have it let's get let's rate that giving it a five star baby can't stop me not my real mom then next four guys ultimate knockout 2022 with oh so this must again i've got a clean slate here i have all of the the points this must be quite high because i imagine a lot of people installed this this was now i'm interested about this one because yeah, I own it, but I got this off PS uh, PS Plus when it was available on PS Plus. Oh, this is not where the stat is. Wow, it even tells you how much you can buy it for. There is so much here. There is so much to uncover. So that gives you big points. So I imagine this has a very big install base and a lot of people were, you know, infallible is the trophy that probably trips people up a lot. There's also some others like, you know, trying to get number one place in the race than the races and some others there that also make this a difficult, uh, like platinum, I suppose, to 
main, not maintain, attain. Jesus, think, sentences, words, the English language, get it in my brain. Next up, Dead Rising 2 PS3, which again, I have a clean bill of health in. So that gives you 4,265 points with 100% ratio. What is this ratio? I've forgotten. I've forgotten already what this means, some of these things, right? Is it going to tell me up here what the ratio is? No, it does not. I think that's how many people get the trophies or something. What are all these stats here? Add to my boost list. Game forum. No, I don't want to do any of this. Add completed game to your trophy case. Mm, cool. That's a cool stat. But yeah, I'm happy with that one. That is quite a rare platinum trophy as well. I, I, I found that one quite interesting. What is it that makes it so rare? Oh, it must be the zombie genocide. That was a, that was a grind, to be fair. Now, this is interesting. Uncharted the Lost Legacy Collection of Thieves is 4,296 points. Why? Why is that so high? Why, why have I got so many points in that one? What's the I saying? Is it because of all the... Are people not playing The Lost Legacy? Because that that is a that's a shot to my heart. If that's if that's the case, like a lot of people are getting this game and they're just like, oh, jumping into one shot. Maybe it's because people were interested in replaying the games and never got around to it. This this does surprise me. It could be because there's a lot of. I'd love to understand. I'd love to sit down with someone. Maybe I could reach out to someone that works on this site and get into the. <laughs> Get him on locking it down with Lucy and try and figure some of this out. Maths, maths me up because I'm so, I'm so curious, but I just don't have the mind for it. I'm not built for all these numbers, but that is a fascinating stat. How is that happening? I don't know. Let's move along. And again, the Master of Us, the Master of Us, the Last of Us remastered up there as my second best game with 4,445 points. I have 100% completion in that. Is that because of Grounded? Is that because people aren't doing that? Let's have a look. I'm curious. Open, open this up. I, I know that's probably because these are popular games and a lot of people, maybe that is why as well. I, I must remember that these is, this is because there are a lot of people that are playing that. That's what this stat is here, right? If it will just played by 2000, that, that number is how many people have played it. And that number is how many people on this site have completed it. Oh, I see. So there's quite, quite a difference here in numbers wise. And that's the time and everything. Not one. No, there's, there's none that I've not won. I've got all of the trophies that I needed for this. I'm guessing so there's no way to rank the rarity on this, which is what I would, that's what I'd be interested in. That's what I do on PSN profiles. I look at the rare, but you have to, I guess, just look at it yourself. These are all little interesting icons that all mean something. Oh my God, it's a mind fill of information. Okay, let's, let's head back. And of course, at number one, which is also number one on my PSN profiles, it's Max Payne 3. Whoop, whoop. But I'm missing a trophy. Well, I have, I don't think I can, I think the servers are shut now. I've got to find out what trophy this is. You know, I can, I can get those. I've got missing six trophies though. I don't think it's possible. I'm happy with my, my platinum, but this is like, now, now I feel sad that my top game isn't 100% complete, 98% complete. Now this one must be because of, you know, it's a very rare, rare platinum in I don't think, I don't think, you could, and you know, the, the, I just remember the servers are shut down. This game has discontinued, 30 discontinued on one part. Discontinued. Yeah, yeah, it's down here that you can see that you can't actually get it anymore. Like, what is by not one? Yeah, could, it's all of these multiplayer ones that I'll never do. And quite frankly, I'm okay with that. Kill Max Payne in, oh, no, this can't be, these got to all be, kill some of the melee strike. Yeah, these got to be all multiplayer stuff. I think I did, I did everything in the single player game. Wow. You can see even how many people are earning trophies right now. How many people have them in my list? It's so in depth. I can't stop saying it. God, it even tells you how big the game is to install. Wow. You literally, it's going to be such a long trophy because I'm just being lost in all of these stats. Okay. Let's start closing some of these. I'm getting, getting crazy in the weeds. So there we are. Those are my best games according to this stat. Let's head back now to look at my best trophies. Let's, we've got a top 10 here. Let's go for the top 10. We'll see what's going on. Ah, why? Okay, we're just going to have to, um, we're just going to have to go through on this page here. So at number, oh, I could just go over here. Number 10 is Platinum Platinum, which has earned the Platinum Trophy in Resident Evil, the HD remake. So I'm guessing that must, that's the Platinum Trophy, yeah. That gives you a lot of points, I suppose, because a lot of people. I get, okay, 
I guess this is their equivalent of rare, rarity. Oh, God, I've got to think about this. Yeah, this is this must mean rarity. So that's ten, out of all my trophies, this is my 10th rarest. But yeah, then it's the Outer Worlds Platinum. Interesting. 99 one points, Outer wor Worlds. Curious. Uh, number eight, I, this is what I hate, Platinum. Could be anything, maybe trophies, but I couldn't see what it is. I'm, I'm pleased with this one. Uh, Platinum Batman, Batman? Batman Arkham City PS3. That got that gives me 1,600, no, 1,063 points. I wonder why that is. I guess because it's a popular game, but maybe it must be to do with the DLC as well, I suppose. What's that? Oh, that's just, oh, that's just the game. Next, Legend, no, Julius Caesar. This was quite a difficult one. Uh, Assassin's Creed Brotherhood Platinum. Are these all Platinums? Quite, quite digging that. I suppose they must be. Because I guess the Platinums hold more points. I've forgotten the formula already. <laughs> so yeah, that was I remember that was quite difficult. That has some multiplayer trophies that I had to boost for in order to get that. And it had those really annoying sync, like get yeah, 100% synchronization by doing this, this. And I was like, this isn't fun. Next, at number six, Legend of the West. That is the Red Dead Redemption Platinum. You've become a true legend of the West with 1,152 points. That's pretty cool. Ratio of 3.84. I need to understand these stats. Next up, a recent addition, which is Los Santos Legend. Congratulations, you're Vinewood's biggest star. So that's the GTA 5 Platinum on PS4. That's pretty cool. I am proud of that one. That is pretty rare. Uh, then it's the Dead Rising 2 Platinum Trophy, which is also quite... See, these numbers are quite high. That's why it's like the, the opposite, because I'm looking for low numbers, but these numbers are high, which in this place is good. Legend of the West again. Come on, Rockstar. Like, you've named... How have I not picked this up before? You've named your exact same trophies. The same. There could have been something a little bit more that you could have done to this, but I'll, I'll accept it because I love the game. So that is 5.3... What? How can you be higher than... I don't know how this works. But yeah, that, that's pretty cool. That's number three. And number two, the ultimate fall guy. And at number one, it is probably... That's the Max Payne Platinum. I'm curious, actually. Let's just, let's just do some cross-reference here. So if we look at this, oh, if I go to my rarest trophies here, I just want to see how this shakes up. So rarity, ultra rare, type, platinum. Oh, it's pretty much the same, but a little bit different. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. So we have one, uh, these. So the only ones that are different is this down here when we get out of the top five. So it's it's got a lot of cross-referencing that matches up, but Smart vs. Raw, Last of Us, the Re 12, and, oh, Arkham City. So about six, and then uh, Tomb Raider. That's so interesting. Wow. I hope you find this interesting too. <laughs> I'm having a great time over here. And then I'm, I'm just, I'm, normally this is what I just do by myself in the darks of night. Actually, I don't really stay up that late anymore. I'm actually more of a morning person. This is what I do at 5 a.m. I'm like, oh, I've woken up. Let's look at this. But at least now I get to talk to it, talk about it out loud to all of you guys. And then this is how my score has progressed, I guess, just this year. Had a bit of a boost there. Now, that was quite in depth. You can find a few things. How long has this been going for, by the way? Wow, 40 minutes. Damn, son. So you can find a lot of your stats if you click here. So let's have a look at the year so far. 82% completion. My ratio versus my friend's ratio. That's pretty cool. Um, I think what this is trying to tell me, not to toot my own horn, but as I earn some quite difficult platinums or trophies sometimes. I, th I think that's what the numbers are telling me. <laughs> uh, and then you can see your streaks here. Okay. Legend Thriller 5 has won 7,624 trophies out of a possible 9,289 trophies, which gives me that 82% completion. And 1,000. So, out of all of the games on the DLC that I own, there are 1,066, no, 665 trophies remaining. And then my true trophy score here. Cool. So, that, that's a fun fact. And then we've already looked at trophies, games, best days. Uh, again, for those of you who don't know, you can get this period so it will tell you how well you did in the month, which is quite cool to see at the end of the month how you shaped up. We're not going to look at that yet or today even. But before I get into the thing that I was very interested in, oh, these are the milestones. So, the, oh yeah. So this site also gives you milestones for various things. So your true level, 
when you've up, you know, when you've reached a new level, when you've reached a certain amount of trophies, you get like notifications that are like, hey, you did this, congratulations, when you've reached a new ratio or whatever. So this is pretty cool to see like what you're achieving. And because there's so many different, you know, types of achievements that you can get, you know, you're like doing something all the time. Like this year alone, I got my completion up. I got to know a level. Wow, I leveled up five, five times. Got some stats going on here. So this is all pretty interesting stuff to see. How far, how far back does this go? Wow, it goes back to 2010. Well, that's when I earned some, I guess but maybe that's when this site begun. Because I had to play, well, maybe that's when trophies began. I don't know. Interesting. By, oh, by 2011, I'd played 25 games. Wow. Ah, oh, I completed my first 10 games in 2012. This is, this is so cute. Look at my life. This is like, this is your life, but PlayStation version. Dun, 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 dun. And then they'll get like the games to come out and be like, Lucy, I remember all that time I spent with you in 2014 playing Dragon Age. <laughs> That's what I was doing in 2014 towards the end of the year. So now... We've, there are so much, there's so much to get into on this side that we're not going to do it all today. Like a to-do list. Maybe I should have made my to-do list, you know, add trophies. Add. I could have done that for my, you know, list of what games I need to earn. Like maybe I'm going to, maybe I'll dive into this another time. Not today. My series, this is how they know the kind of games I play. Uh, trophy case. I don't think I have anything in this. Maybe I should add that at some point. Um, there's the stats, the leaderboards and stuff. I don't really look at that as not too interested. Completion times. What is this? Oh, cool. So these are my fastest completed games. God, I'll have to do a whole video on this at some point. The games that took... Wait, is this in order of anything? Time difference. Time. Oh, then I could add my own time. Uh, it's a shame that you can't... You can't sort of filter this to be like, what are the quickest games that I completed? What are the longest? Like, this is just doing it in time completed... Yeah, that's a shame. I would have, I would have very much enjoyed to see that because now that's just showing me it in order of when I did complete them. Damn, I'd love that. I'd love if I could just see in a list. Maybe there'd be a way to do that at some point. That'd be so cool. Uh, we've already gone for the trove streaks. Look, I can write a, write a biography. Hello, this is when I become a novelist. Hello, faithful trophy hunter. My name is Lucy, and this is the story of my PlayStation life as told by trophies. I'll, maybe I'll continue this, my memoirs. <laughs> I just love it. I love it. I love it so much. Oh, look, here, you can see me doing some things here. They must be like, what is Lucy up to? She's just bored now. She's just like <laughs> giving, giving these games five out of ten. She's writing her blog, my, <laughs> my biography. Oh, I don't think it's quite a biography. I'm not be writing a 255 page novel. I think it's mainly just a little like summary about your life, sure. <laughs> but I, I suppose that, that, you know, does the thing. My wish list, that could be pretty cool, actually. To put some games in that I'd like to play on the year. I used to do that in my trophy log book quite a lot. But out of all of the things you can get, oh my, you can review games, you can have subscriptions, games lists. There's, there's so much. But I stumbled across this the other day, and I don't think I've shown this anywhere before. Maybe I did ages ago. But I thought this, this My PlayStation Story was so cool that it spawned the idea of this whole video because these are stats that I've never seen before. And it's up to date. And I was like, wow, this is impressive that this is ticking over all the time. So my PlayStation story, let's take a look as powered by True Trophy. So Legend of the Five's PlayStation story. So we've seen how many, you know, how many trophies I have, how many games, but then it breaks it down into a timeline of years and consoles, which I think is so freaking cool. So you can see that on PlayStation 3, I had 72 games. Oh, so unfortunately, because you've got to just know these things. I guess that, oh no, I don't want that. I don't want that. I guess that must be rarity or something. I'm not sure. But then you can see how many game, like trophies I had. So on the PS3 era, I earned 43 platinum trophies. Bless it, bless it. Oh, maybe that is, so out of all of those trophies, maybe 980, 
Wow, I wonder what my rarest era is. I love it. I was getting so excited and I completed 43 games. So my first ever trophy was Let Sleeping Rockstars Lie in Grand Theft Auto 4. I remember getting that at 17 minutes past midnight. Uh, I believe that must be the correct time in my time. On the 11th of January, 2009, thank you to my neighbor whose internet worked that night so I could get my first ever trophy. My rarest trophy, according to this site, is Time Lord. Doctor Who, the Eternity Clock, un unlocked by 692 players. I imagine this is because... Not many people have played this game, so it's probably got quite a, a low percentage of achievers. So that must make it quite rare. Just going to take a sip for the cause. My first ever game completed, which by proxy is my first ever platinum, is of course SmackDown vs. Raw 2010, 17th of December 2020. 10. That doesn't, that wasn't a year. 2010. <laughs> my fastest, oh, I love that this stat remains because I was so proud of this back in the day. Yes, thank you. Thank you for remembering. God, I'm so happy. <laughs> I need to get some hobbies. Uh, this is my hobby, I suppose. My fastest platinum on PS3 was Batman Arkham Asylum, and I completed that in 13 days, 70 hours and 35 minutes. I remember this was the first time that I actually was like, I want to complete this game as fast as possible. It's, pro it's actually because I borrowed this game from somebody as well. So maybe I was like, oh, I really want to play the game. And then I knew I was really into it, but I wanted to make sure I gave the game back. So uh, I, I was just so into it. And I was I was proud of that being my fastest game completed for quite some time. My slowest game completed was WWE Legends of WrestleMania, which took me 1,171 days, 17 hours and six minutes. How, I think that's about three years. Why did that take me so long? I don't know. I, I can't delve into the stats. Maybe it was when I was like playing the game and I enjoyed it and I realized I could clean up the trophies. Maybe that's when the addiction really set in. I was like, oh, let's go back and have a look at the games that I can complete. And then my rarest game completion, whop, 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 a game that doesn't have a platinum, sadly. I guess that's why that's, that's here. Wait, maybe not. Maybe that's just literally the rarest game I've completed. I love that stat. That is a great stat, which is Sonic the Hedgehog 4 episode two. But why? Completed by 663 players. I thought Sonic the Hedgehog 1 would be rarer. What is the rarest? Now, sorry, I have to do some cross-referencing and uh, because I just know my way around PSN profiles. That's the one that we've got to we've got to go to. Games. Sonic the Hedgehog. Also, give Sonic a platinum, god damn it. Sonic the Hedgehog episode 2. My god, my god. They're right. Wait, no, that's not right. That's got a co what? What makes this so difficult? Order, rarity. I love tail. I thought this was way easier than the original game. All you had to do was play as tails fifty times, and people couldn't be asked to do that. All right, I'll take it. I, I honestly, I thought the uh, the other game was harder. All right, where have I gone? Where have I gone? I'm over here. So that's my PS3 life. What a life! So I had my PS3 from 2006 until. 2013. But now we've got Vita time. Vita, it's Vita time. So my Vita only had 21 games as we already looked at. And I got 13 Platinums on the Vita. That's pretty cool. And then I have 122 rare trophies on the Vita. So my first ever Vita trophy. Oh, look at it. It is Digital Chase Tap Prize Welcome Pack. Hit a park even. Who didn't play the Welcome Park when you got a Vita? It's like a rite of passage. You got to do it. And that was on the 23rd of January. Uh, I got my Vita for my birthday and I didn't actually play it for ages. For some reason, I didn't want to get it out of the box. I'm a little bit um, weird like that. I just was like, I've got, to, I've got to protect it. It's got to be precious. My rarest Vita trophy is Salt uh, Saltborn, the Salt and Sanctuary Platinum. Yay! I'm proud of that. I'm glad that that's been captured somewhere. So I know that this information only unlocked by 1,229 players. What about Guacamelee? I did that on Vita. That was hard. <laughs> then my first game completion was the Welcome Park obviously. Did that the next day. It took me quite a while. Fastest game completed was Paint Park Plus. You can see these are dark times, but you got to get the free games and you got to get the free plats. Um, slowest game completion was Golden Abyss. That took me quite a long time. Yeah, that's because you need to play the game quite a few times and get these weird sort of cards. That's, that were quite, um, that was like RNG. They brought some RNG into Uncharted. So I, I chipped away at that quite slowly. And then my rarest game completed, okay, that's, that confirms the stat. It just means rarest game completed, full stop, is Salt and Sanctuary. Okay, let's move on to the PS4. I'm, I'm curious to see. So that was 43. This has got to be high for PS4, surely. Yeah, 66 Platinums on a PS4. But I guess that's also to do with lifespan as well. Like that was, 
yeah, I've had this the, the PS4 for quite a long time. So my first trophy on PS4 was Welcome to Los Santos. Whose trophy wasn't Welcome to Los Santos? Actually, and that was on my birthday. So I got the I got the pack of um, GTA 5 came with my my console. Rarest trophy, another Doctor Who game. The, if there's a Doctor Who game, folks, I'm going to play it. You know it. The oncoming storm. Only 51 people have that have that platinum. Whoop, whoop. I'm glad to say that I'm one of them. I don't know how these stats are being pulled, but sure. My first game completed was Infamous First Light. I believe that was a PS Plus game, which is probably why I did that so so quick on the 30th, uh, 21st of February. Fastest game completed on PS4, which is one hour and 13 minutes, was What Remains of Edith Finch. Really? Really? I suppose... I thought it took longer than that. At least a morning. That seems incredibly quick. But I'm not going to argue with the stats. Slowest game completed is Grand Theft Auto 5, which took me a very long time. 2,314 days. Not sure what that equivalates to in years, but we shall see. Rarest game completed was Dog 2 The Eternity Clock. So hang on. That makes zero sense. How can the, the Platinum be unlocked by 50 what? Oh, wow. There is... Wait, that doesn't make any sense. 51 people, 52 people. Oh, well. And my most played game was Destiny for 31 days, one hour. How? And 42 minutes. That's... Wait, that's got to be all of my accumulated time. Wow. Like, I, I've seen this stat before in numbers, but I've never seen it before. I spent 31 days of my life playing destiny but, uh, i mean it's a it's a game that i can't even say that's one of my favorites that's 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 a that's a shameful stat there i'm not sure i mean i know that that was a time i'm not actually you know what that was a time in my life and i enjoyed meeting up with friends and playing destiny like the game itself was whatever it was but wow 31 days someone stick that on my grave when I'm dead, here lies Lucy. She spent 31 days of her actual living life playing Destiny. <laughs> okay, and then let's go on to the PS5. Oh, look, nine Platinums for the PS5. 133 rare trophies. Now, what are the odds? What's going to happen in my life now? I'm curious, okay? Gosh, will I get more Platinums on PS5 than I did on PS4? Now, it depends. Let's let's go through the stat and then we can think this thought exercise through because I'd like to think about it. <laughs> so the first trophy that I got, of course, it's got to be uh, Astrobot's Playroom, Astro's Playroom. One down, lots more to go. That was on the launch day, the 19th of November. Oh, what, how exciting that day was. Now, this is when I realized, oh my God, these stats are up to date because I only got this trophy two days ago, unlocked by 118 players, uh, Dapper Kappa. And that's when I was like, wow. I am impressed that this information has been updated that that regularly. So hats off to you. First game completed was Astro's Playroom, of course. Fastest game completed was Astro's Playroom in four days, five hours and 15 minutes. Slowest game completion so far was Overcooked or You Can Eat. Took me, took me almost a year to do that. My rarest game completed is Overcooked or You Can Eat. Really? Really? Why do I keep saying that? And then my most played game, which I think makes sense, is Returnal, which I spent two days of my life playing Returnal. Wait, 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 wait. I've got to, I've got to see. That, no, that can't be the stat because I did not play Legends of WrestleMania for one. That's got to be the time it took me. Not the time. But, uh, that's so confusing. I didn't play Legends of WrestleMania for 1,000 hours. Don't put that on my gravestone, please. That's embarrassing. <laughs> okay, so what I want to say is with these stats, will I be able to get more than 66 Platinums on PS5? Now, here's point number one. I think the PS5 will be around longer, so it's definitely possible that this could happen. Point number two, though, is my Platinum, you know, output slowing down in my old age? Time will tell. Who knows? Because this was what? 2013 to 2022. In 2013, I had, I was at the end of university. Yeah, it was my last year of university. So that has seen me through uni, unemployment, and having a job. Now here in 2022, I still have a job. I now live in a house, a flat. And uh, who knows what's going to happen within the next, could be like nine, that, that was seven years. I'm guessing it's only going to get it's only going to get bigger 
that was six to, wow, 2006, 2013. That's a long time. That was like 11 years. What? Oh God, I'm out, I'm outnumbered by all the numbers here. Anyway, what I'm trying to say is in when the PS6 comes out, who knows how much will have changed in my life? How much? So this could be, the PS4 could have been the peak. This could be the fall. We shall see. Tune into the channel in 10 years time to find out. <laughs> if you're still around, that'd be amazing. If you're still around, that'd be great. Put a comment in this video if you're watching in 2032. What? <laughs> <laughs> All right. And then let's have a look at my record. So my best day was October the 22nd, 2021. That's because I auto popped Ghost of Sushima to play the DLC on PS5. My best month, December 2014. I don't think I'll ever, this is an interesting little stat here. I don't think I'll ever get better than that. It's never going to get better than that, everybody. I'm not going to spend a whole month, you know, getting 157 trophies. My best year, 2014, that still remains the same. My best streak, 26 days. One day I will topple that. Game's completed. I think we've seen all of this before. Whoa, now my completion is back down to, you know, 72%. Uh, percent, but that's because it's not counting the DLC. Total install size of games, 7,000 gigabytes. Damn. And then my total value of games. No. Estimate from launch price. I've spent £20,000 on video games across my life. Damn, son, that's crazy. And then we've got my most played series, which is Uncharted. Now, why have I got seven out of eight Uncharted games? What Uncharted have I not played? Is, is it because it's I don't have Fight for Fortune or whatever it's called? If that is, and I've got I've got to maybe buy that game and write that wrong because this stat upsets me. But overall, overall, I've got, oh, because I love Uncharted, I've got 474 trophies in it. So that's my most trophies from a series. That's cool. WWE games. That's pretty high. I'm about to play WWE 2K22 soon. I, I do want to play WWE 2K22, but I'm also like in the back of my mind, like, but what about your percentage? Because I don't know if I'm going to get the... I don't know how much I want to play it either. I just want to dip in, but I, sh I refuse to alter count. Then Batman, I've got ten, five out of 10 games there. Infamous, I've got all five games. Woo, I have a full completion of Infamous games where I've I played five out of five of them. And I think I have the Platinums of all of them. I have completed Uncharted. I've got to look this up because that, 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 I'm not going to be able to rest not knowing. And I can't click on this. And then Fallout, three out of five games played. I'm happy with that. And then my top genres. Oh, interesting. How does that break down? Open world games, 20%. That, that makes sense. I do play a lot of open world games. I guess this is going to show me what my favorite genres are. So open world games, 20%. Shooters, 18%. Action adventure games, 13%. Role playing games, 12%. Platformers, 8.8%. Stealth games, 8.4%. Sports games, 5.9%. Adventure games, 5.6%. Point and click games, 3.4%. And action horror games, 2.8%. I find it really difficult to read numbers. <laughs> Something wrong with me. <laughs> I'm like, I've really got to concentrate when I, when number reading is happening. So as you can see, I'm missing probably some key genres that I just don't enjoy. Like fighting games, for instance, racing games are missing from my collection, but yeah, open world games and shooter games and action. I'd say these top three, actually, I'd say this side of the board, open world, action, adventure, shooter, role playing and platforming games are where my heart really lies in the world of video games. So there we go, everyone. God, I need to find out what that Uncharted game is. Let's just, I don't know if I can, well, I feel bad going to PSN profiles whenever I need anything, but let's let's see if we can find it here. Uncharted, let's just type it in. Well, it can't be that. And it can't be that. Series, series. Yes, we're, we're going to do it. We're going to, we're, do, we're doing the thing. So I have this, I have this. Seven out of eight, what is the game? I am missing Fight for Fortune. Oh, fuck's sake. I'm going to have to play this now. That was, that was a bit of an extreme reaction. I don't know if I want to play it. <laughs> I want to have a out of it. How can I, how can I look myself in the mirror and be, yeah, you're on a chop. Oh, Pete, I haven't played Fight for Fortune, have you? Can I even buy Fight for Fortune? Well, this, this, it will tell me if I can buy it. Will it? <gasps> One game discontinued. This game has been removed from the PSN store. No! I'll forever never be able to get eight out of eight Uncharted games. And that's going to that's gonna haunt me until the day I die. Damn you! Well, on that note, let's, uh, let's think about, let's think about this. Let's uh, wrap this up.
Well, there you go, everybody. That wraps up my trophy stats as shown to you by True Trophies for all of my trophy life, uh, dated 2022. What is it's May? Um, that was a really interesting uh, look down memory lane. I very much enjoyed those stats. I, I want to get into this site more. So as I said, feel free to add me if you'd like to. I want to try and start using some of these lists more. I want to get into some of the, like, you know, I'm going to start writing my biography maybe. <laughs> I will write it. Oh my God, I should have written it like I was a character in a video game, leaving a note like, hey, it's Lucy here. Like a, like a last of us kind of like ish. Uh, oh man. So much fun to be had on this website. So I, I do, uh, you know, recommend checking it out. Have a deep dive. Look at your stats and, uh, enjoy. I hope you enjoyed listening to this video as much as I enjoyed just going through all those stats and looking at, uh, everything that I, everything that I've been through. Can't be for nothing. Very lost was heavy, this video, for some reason. Well, there we go. Those are my stats. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch, listen along. I hope that you were, you know, enjoyed your time. Maybe you earned a trophy or two, or maybe you learned a thing or two. Do let me know in the comments below if you have any thoughts, uh, feelings. Do you have a biography that you would like to put down? Because I love to read them. And I shall see you all next time when the time rolls around once again to review my trophy list in another weird and wonderful way, I'm sure. Until then, take care, hunt trophies, and I shall catch you all next time.